Kicks off, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, second down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to. And the net result is a loss. tailback they'll get him for a loss well the defense has done their job and made a nice stand now let's see if the special teams can come up with something here as well the defense decided to go conservative sitting back in cover three they wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play smith is back deep to return the punt And he has it on the corner. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Four yards gain. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 49. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires out to his wideout, and he's taken down at the 47. Impressive play by the defense. They're feeling pretty good about themselves right now. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He's tackled to the 38-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. He makes it to the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, second down. Throws this one out to the left. And it falls incomplete. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. Well, folks, fourth down again, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. They get nice yardage on that run. They're about to head off the field after stopping them on third down. Then, whoa, they pick up another first down. It's the ninth play of the drive. Throw 
Throwing left. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. And he hits him hard at the three. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Defense stacked in tight here. Touchdown, Bulldogs! He makes the PAT. It was an 11-play, 55-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And he's tackled at the 24. George is in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Scrambling around. Tackle at the 39. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Taken down in the backfield. it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Here's third and nine. Ball on their own 39. Fires quickly, and it's picked off the 30 to the 20 the 10 he's all the way home touchdown and he tacks on the extra point Georgia lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And he's hammered down. Georgia's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Nice run there. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Brought down at the 42. First 
this one. First and ten. Ball on the 42. McClellan gets the carry, and they make the stop at the 45. He's on the run, and he's tackled at the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line. First down. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. And they hit him in the backfield. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Six-yard line. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. And he's taken down at the 38. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Caught out in the open. And he tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Mike 17. They got ahead. Two. They got low. Up the middle for a nice game. Taken down at the 49. From their own 49 yard line, it's second down. They'll bring him down to 39-yard line. He's got it! Tackle made at the two. This secondary better tighten it up if they're going to slow down this drive. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. Diving for extra yardage. Touchdown! 
touchdown, Georgia. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 62-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. The score now, 21-0. Georgia kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bulldogs are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Yet to go, but at the end of one, Georgia's got a three touchdown advantage. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Got him on the screenplay, and he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. I think the big thing for a defense when they face a screen is chasing it from the inside out, which means the defensive linemen are the key to slowing down a really well-executed screen pass. Because if you think about it, the offensive linemen are getting downfield blocking against the linebackers and the safeties. The defensive linemen have got to be able to recognize screen and then have the quickness to be able to chase the running back down from behind before he gets his momentum going and can outrun him. They come up to the line here at second down and 14 after the sack. That's a great tackle at the 31. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it and the holes will start to open up. He's got his half back. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 36-yard line. And they get five yards from that completion. They executed the screen play well here. By getting the ball to the half back, they pick up some yards. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Nice yardage on the run back. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 32. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Three yards there on the option keeper. That makes it still seven. He fires right. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. Thorson awaits the snap. 
It's away, and it's a booming punt. And down he goes at the 23. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. He tackles him for a loss. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Hand off to the right. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 37. First down here, Brad, by this offense. The receiver's running the football. you got to think, as a defensive coordinator, it's one thing to try to defend it, kind of your, your, your traditional offensive attack. But here, you got to start worrying about what is this wide receiver going to do? It puts a lot of pressure on the defense and a defensive mindset on how they want to try to slow this offense down. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Quick throw. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. scrambling he's at the 20 slides down that's another first down Brad and right now you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in their ability to pick up first downs just pushing this defense further and further down back deep into their own territory from the 17 yard line first down He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. From the 12-yard line. It's third down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Alabama gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia's offense really had a goal in that first quarter, but they're starting to struggle here in the second hurry. Well, because they played so well early in this game, even though they have been struggling, they still have a pretty comfortable lead. Now let's see if they can hold on to it here as we get ready for the second half. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line, second down. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. receiver tackle around the 38 yard line from their own 38 yard line 
First down. And off, and he's met immediately. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. Just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. They'll line it up again on third down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Thorson is the punter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Great job by the punter of getting the ball inside the 20 and turning over field position for his defense. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Nice run, and he's brought down. McClellan picks up five with the carry. That brings him second in line. From their own eight yard line. It's second down. Scrambling around. Brought down right around the 10 yard line. He scrambled and picked up a couple of yards. on the screen but he drops it that's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver you'll be feeling that hit tomorrow Schmidt is the deep man awaiting the return Schmidt feels it at the 50 scoops it up tackle at the 44 The Bulldogs are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Caught open field, and he's tackled around the 36-yard line. And they make the stop at the 32. First and 10. Ball on the 32. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's taken down around the 18-yard line. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. The 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. You like the faith he has in his receiver to just put the ball up and let him go get it. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And he converts the extra point.
Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. Brought down at the 21. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. This offense needs to start playing some emotional football. is out to the tailback on the screen. They'll bring him down right around the 22-yard line. Second and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. He's on the run, and they get the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. run up the gut. A little slyness to no avail there, far away from the sticks. Well, there was a seam there, but he couldn't get there quick enough. This defense is deceptively fast. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. That makes it second, and ten. second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 45. Georgia looking to build on this commanding lead here. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. He's under pressure. He's wrapped up for the sack. And they head to the locker room. And folks, we got a bit of a laugher here. Georgia's got a huge lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'd like to put this more delicately if I could, but if this were a horse, they would put it out of its misery. This game Ouch. is this game is ugly and, uh, and completely non-competitive. No, one of these teams is not like the other. I mean, one's really good and one's not. And I don't know how to sugarcoat it anymore. Maybe uh, maybe we could say that the second half will be better. But what you've seen so far, you're probably going to get a lot more because I don't see any advantages or anything to take advantage of. One team's just superior in talent, superior in coaching, superior really in every single facet of the ballgame. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Very lopsided first two quarters. We'll hope for better as we head into the third. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Georgia up by a big margin. Pitches out and the ball is up for grabs. Tackle made around the 21 yard line.
Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. And he's taken down at about the 17-yard line. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. Certainly they don't have the return on here. He really got a hold of that one. And he has it on the corner. You're always looking for the home run return. The big highlight. Didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. That's a great tackle at the 44-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Junior makes the catch. He's hit and taken down. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes. Right around the 44 yard line. That makes it second and six. From the 44-yard line, second down. Play fake and looking to run. He's tackled in the open field. That's good for being three yards. That makes it third and three. He's at the 30, makes it to the 21. First and 10, ball on the 21 yard line. He's scrambling, tries to get around the corner. Tackle around the 17 yard line. That makes it second and six. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. He makes the PAT. It was a seven-play, 64-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 28-10. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's playing much better on the defensive side of the ball here in the third quarter. Well, Brad, I think what I've seen is they were just doing too much in the first half. They've streamlined their attack, and I think it's made it a little bit easier for their players to understand what to do, and they're playing a lot faster here. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Good protection. Once it all, going deep. Brought down at the 31. Now 
It's first and ten after the big pass play. He fights forward to about the 29. goes out of bounds around the 24 yard line third down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down nice run there so the option play works as designed and the offense picks up a first down good read by the quarterback he made a quick pitch off to the running back and they came away with a pretty good game Off, and he's met in the backfield. Second down and 11. Ball on the 21. He makes it to the 18 yard line. it up for the field goal. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He fights forward to about the 26. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. scrambling and he's tackled at the 47 yard line that makes it first and ten from the 47 yard line first down And they got him for a loss. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That brings up second and 13. Double tight, double tight. Two down, two down. High five, high five. Let's go. Let that be. He gets another carry. Good outside run there. Call it a gain of six yards. That makes it 37. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Under heavy pressure. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. 
This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. And that one's incomplete. This is definitely going to be pass interference. However, I'm not sure who they're going to call it on. They're giving away three yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. From their own 23-yard line, first down. Fires out to his wideout, and they make the stop at the 25. third and nine ball on the 24 yard line so that'll make it fourth down the defense held their ground on that play the quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers Thorson to punt oh excellent punt And down he goes at the 46-yard line. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Hand off to the right. And he is drilled at the 48. From their own 48 yard line. Second down. McClellan takes the give. And he's level at the 46. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. with room to run. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. Going for it all to the end zone. They'll bring him down at the 29 yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Caught first down, and he's out of bounds. From the 14-yard line, first down. tackled after positive yardage. We head to the fourth. 31-10, Georgia.
Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made around the three-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And he hits him hard at the one-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Touchdown, Alabama! And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Nice run, and he's brought down. They're about four yards away here on second down. Got some open field. And they get nice yardage on that run. Taken down right around the 40. From their own 40 yard line, it's second down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He fights forward to about the 40. quickly and he's got his man and they finally push him out at the 35 yard line you can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice these guys know and trust each other and you could see it in the way he threw that pass here's the give he's tackled at the 26 yard line it's second down now and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker Fights forward to about the 23. And this play is number eight on the drive. And they'll bring him down behind the line. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Out of bounds at the 13-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Down he goes at the 10. Second and seven. Ball on the 10. The 
Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he tackles him hard at the eight-yard line. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Here comes the pressure. Quick strike, and he drops it. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Georgia is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Scrambling around. He's wrapped up for the sack. So the sack makes this a second and long. He's on the run. Now he shows his running ability. Dives forward. He's out to the 30. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Gets to about the 37-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 43-yard line. That brings him second and five. From their own 43-yard line, second down. He scrambles. Now he's going to run and watch out. Brought down at midfield. at about the 39-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 39. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Decides to slide. Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Slides down. Fred, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense, and look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Tries to buy some time. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. And he hits the PAT.
So the hands team does their job, and the onside is not successful. When people talk about special teams winning football games, they're usually talking about blocking kicks and big returns. But the onside return team can be just as important. And right now, these guys may have sealed the deal with that recovery. Milton gets six yards on the play. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Just over two minutes in the game. They go with a run. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. He fights forward to about the 33. Not much on the option keeper, but it's good for a first down. Yeah, it didn't even look like he was thinking to pitch the ball there. From the 33-yard line, first down. Hands it to the back. He makes his way out to about the 25. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Makes it to the 17. Edwards, again. He fights forward to about the 16. From the 16-yard line. It's second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Here's the eighth play of the series. to battle to the very end. 34-24, Georgia. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.